Once every four years, the NCAA grants us the ability to do an international trip. It's not just a baseball international trip, but uh, something we get to combine our love of baseball and our, our faith and, and missions work together. It's weird because it's the same game, but it's not. You can tell like their drive for baseball that they have is um, found in different places than what we have up here. Each game we got to share. Um, one of our players or coaches got to share their testimony. A lot of times we were able to use baseball as our, our avenue to connect with these individuals because in the DR, that's their way off the island. Our main goal going down there was more than just baseball. It was sharing our love of, of Christ through baseball. It's kind of how we could communicate that to them, not speaking the same language as them. Our, the clinics we got to do, uh, both of them probably had over a hundred and something kids at both of them. Um, you could tell the guy, like a lot of the players there were, were passionate and excited about baseball. Uh, but at the same time, there were kids that didn't even have a glove and, and helping them learn the game of baseball through that. Um, just to be able to see baseball uh, be kind of bridge a gap between a language barrier um, to show the love of Christ uh, was really cool. We shared um testimony with them a little bit after the clinics and stuff like that just being out there for a couple hours and just um, running drills and stuff and seeing how they react to like how we teach baseball a little bit was uh, very interesting um, to me. One of the ministries we got to do um, was a, a girls home and truthfully myself and even some of our players and coaches were kind of questioning like why like we're a baseball team like why are we going to this girls home? Um, we all went in sat down um, at the tables a little not really knowing what to expect but then they like all got up started dancing with us like pull us out of our chairs it was just so much fun to just spend time with them and show them like kind of like a godly man it's it was a home where a lot of younger girls 16 and, and uh, younger would go and live um, because they were coming from difficult situations whether that be abuse or trying to be pushed into sex trafficking or, or prostitution um, and this was just outside of Boca Chica uh, which uh, talking with our interpreter uh, Roberse was uh, explained to me that it's, it's actually the the prostitution capital of the world not just the DR no matter what their circumstances were like where they came from like they just the joy that they had just both days that we went they were just so full of life and fun and just like they were respectful and just like amazing like l human beings going into this trip uh, i wasn't sure um, if this was something that was was that we should do it was a stressful couple months leading up to it um, i was like man this is a lot of work is it worth it and just really questioning whether it was worth taking 48 guys out of the country um, to do this. And God really showed up in some crazy ways and kind of slapped me in the face and like, yeah, this is what we're doing. And some incredible stories from one of our players being baptized to just seeing the growth that took place with our guys. There was a revival lit in me and I think there was a revival lit in a lot of our guys' hearts from that trip. Everyone needs the love of God, like whether they're um, in, living in the Dominican Republic or they're living here in, at Messiah. Um, that's definitely something that I want to continue on past just this one week trip that we took.